Welcome back, it's your boy, be the credit goes to that phone. No time, it's about to get back into another reaction video. Let's take a turn to sports. First of all, your boy is a big sports fan. Basketball, football, my two go-tos. Uh, this is coming from, now first of all, let me backtrack. Let me just give you a little backstory. So I do commentary over women's basketball highlights on Instagram because Instagram doesn't really care about my reaction videos. I try to post clips, but people don't really watch them, whatever, whatever. It's fine. I'm trying different things and different uh, platforms on different platforms. So what I have done or what I what I am doing is reacting to, like I said, women's basketball, but basketball in general. I'm reacting to basketball over on Instagram and people seem to like it. I had people hit me up and saying, hey, you should do some sports basketball type things on uh, your YouTube. I'm like, oh, OK, you know, I'm open to new ideas. I ain't really touched it because I just figured I was a music channel, but I am a reactor. So why not throw a little sports in there? This, this right here is interesting. This is Larry Bird trash talking. So this is just going to be a compilation of different players and coaches, I'm assuming, giving their stories on Larry Bird talking trash. Now, I know a little bit about Larry Bird. A little bit. I know my man from Indiana. Uh... Played for the Boston Celtics, won some championships. Him and Magic Johnson was going head to head for a while there in the 80s, going crazy. I'm a Bulls fan. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a Bulls fan. Been a Bulls fan. More so Derrick Rose, but I mean, Michael Jordan. I mean, I get it. I get it. MJ, it's MJ. No hate. Mike's Mike, the GOAT. We get it. But I'm more of a Derrick Rose, like 2011 until now. So we're not that good. We, we, we're trying to do a little something, something. Uh, but yeah, true Bulls fan. Chiefs, Royals, can't see the course all day, hometown, and then Bulls. That's that's just, that is what it is. Uh, so I love everything about basketball. If you didn't know that, I still play basketball. Um, I played in college. I played in high school. And yeah, like I still play in the men's league now. Your boy actually went crazy low-key. The last time we played, I had 46 points. Now I can do a reaction to that. I got a couple, I got a couple clips from the game. I can react to it if y'all want me to. Just let me know in the comments below. But uh yeah, let me know if I got some basketball fans in here. Uh but Larry Bird trash talking. So I know these stories finna be, I know these stories finna be funny and crazy. Cause the 80s was wild. So I'm I can only imagine what he was saying. He looked like he didn't say too much, but those be the ones that say a lot. Larry Bird trash talking. All right, let's do it. Let's jump into it. I need you to talk to me. You do I need you to talk to me lightly, Larry. Larry lightly. So Can't be saying nothing too crazy. In the last, the last play, he says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. First of all, that's disrespectful. What you're not about to do is tell me what you're getting ready to do and then do it to my team and or me on the basketball court. That's disrespectful. Don't do that. Hmm? The 80s is crazy. He already grabbed his jersey. Foul! Ain't no foul. Not in the 80s. Real basketball. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, and game made over. It. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> go to shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm Larry's a legend. Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to shake. And Larry put both hands behind him. Hey, hand. me. I wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. Dominique Wilkins, for all those of you that don't know who Neek is. Oh, I'm a basketball junkie. This is all this is right in my alley. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. He but made said, it. This, some, this, this called me Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Larry. <laughs> and, he, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down... See me on the break net pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him, man. I mean, he fouls me. And he say, Rook, I like you. You got heart. 
He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you I mean, disrespect. Left hand me, ice cream scoop me. Talk trash to me. Because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. That is trash talking, but that's really just respect on the basketball court because we all competitive. So we talk a little shh, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like to the point we want to fight fight. Some people do, but that's that's just people that don't, you know what I'm saying? They just take it a little too serious, bro. Like we, we just talk about the game itself. Trash talking is part of the game. That's it. Don't try to turn it into something else. Irritating. But yeah, yeah, this is good. This oh, is good stuff. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this people this story about Larry Bird. Chuck. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, You guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, What are you talking about? <laughs> he says, You guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> well, disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you put on him? I can't remember who it was. I just wanted to laugh. I had no comeback. He says, he says, It's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He Larry told Robert Reedy the other day that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> Larry's a savage. He had 50 points. And you know, Larry Bird ain't Ron Harper. no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. I'm not wearing my guard. You I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it. Larry, you disrespectful Marcus man. Pointer on Larry, on Larry Bird and uh, and said and said and said, take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three 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 pointers in a row. And just basically basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball. <laughs> or DJ, give me the ball. I got Danny H. in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. Oh, if you think I'm not using that, you tripping. I got this man in the torture chamber? Oh, I need that. That's good. That's good stuff down here. When I'm in the post? And said, and said, and said take a I look got at him that. in the torture and chamber? Bird just came right back and hit three 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 pointers in a row. And just basically, Cheddar cheese basically biscuits. said to him, and we all heard it, that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball. Or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. <laughs> Why the guy was standing right there listening to That's disrespectful. To him say it. <laughs> The baller went to Larry and Isaiah was all out of out of way. Hey, line. John he Sally. Ball, three point range. He goes, hey, hey, hey. Uh. Everybody looked around. Cheddar cheese biscuits. Knock me down. Uh, he ran out there and just shot it. Three pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. <laughs> he ain't that fast. He's slow. <laughs> But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. Cold. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. <laughs> he proceeded to score like 10 straight points on him. Coach took me out of the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take a run out of Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to Brad shoot, Daughtry. I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him. He shoots you the ball. You savage. The Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Fly, Bird. Anytime he had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. Scoopy Loop with the left. There was a certain confidence you had because you uh, know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered. Double team Two people on you, Larry. Cheddar cheese biscuits. Do you remember? Knock me well, down. You had the bird night. I had the bird night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a tough night, man. You know, the biggest argument that Woo, night is uh, he only scored six on me. <laughs> you know? But did you, nobody was guarding bird. Uh, pull we? up. But well, we were trying. You were trying. Uh, yeah, you know, but when, when a guy is literally Pure. coming up to court calling his shots, that's crazy. Uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that uh, game, we're screen. only free throw line. Knocked down. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side, <laughs> over uh, across the three. And you're listening <laughs> to him. That's that's a tough filler. Plus, on top of that, his jumper's up here. So it's already hard to guard. You bring the jumper up here. Uh, what's Larry? Six, eight, six, nine? But, okay, so you guys got... Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. <laughs> I mean, when I see Mike, we still Ooh, have. Ooh, little it shoulder. Was a, it was the greatest film session ever because that, back then you didn't have, you know, Ooh, you behind the back the chicken rack. And just went, you know, with a video. And Fake? Mike rewound Pull up. the celebration 20 times. He just kept, re not the shot, he just kept rewinding it. 
showing the guys you remember they're giving each other high five. And then and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, too, that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other high five. And our film session was 20 <laughs> minutes of that. <laughs> That's so crazy. It, it, was, it wasn't it, somebody not shot playing crazy, good defense though. on no. Bird. It was you it was, guys just, celebrating Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> Drilling. <laughs> it, 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 it was... Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, he, and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, <laughs> no uh, way. Yeah, and so... Um, it was That's a bad night. Crazy. When Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball. He said, Every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess Woo. the deep one that was too close. When he ran by the bench, he goes, That's a heat check. You see how hot I am. <laughs> yeah, he runs by Frank Layton, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, Because nobody out here can. Frank looked down at the bench and goes, No. <laughs> Larry's a savage. Don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? Then the coach looks. Nah, Larry, I don't. I don't. Coach, what? Wait a minute. Now, what you're not finna do is be disrespectful. It's too late. He done already been. He cooked you for forty. At this point, ain't nothing else you can do. You got to take the trash talking too. The funniest That's guy another in level. The league and Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, "Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? Because <laughs> nobody out here can." Larry's a Frank savage. No. <laughs> uh, he'll look at you like, hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm telling you. That's crazy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. What'd he say? Oh, snap. Yeah, 16? <laughs> Good move, fade me. Good block. <laughs> yeah. Larry. That block was crazy. Hold up. Granted, Granted was help side block. It wasn't one-on-one -on -one defense, but it was still a crazy block. It doesn't matter. Help side or not, it's still a crazy block. Trash to Larry Bird now. He uh, pull up. 16 points. Chuck and Larry down low, uh, greeting one another once again. Excuse me. Look at Larry. Let him know. And look at Bird. Person didn't dare look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run ins, but. Uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability Larry's to get the savage. final word has made for many a magic He's still moment. getting the last this word. Week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. High game, 13 seconds to play. Celtics basketball, no. Game winner, gotta be. They call the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to the time out. I'm going to a play. Bad choice of words, I brother. I just one more run. All right, uh, then she got the ball, you go over here. and uh, Casey Jones. Uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner. And why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? No. After the time, we, we walked back on the floor. Legend. Court. Larry's going down to his position. So he tells the baby, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. The savage. <laughs> and you know he was like i didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock oh I you dirty dog like damn larry bird just phenomenal the way that he will Cold. contribute just a little oh man I, i'm about to do this we're about to run this play i'm gonna catch it on the wing i'm gonna pull up knock the jumper down in your face then you go to do it you execute what it is you said you were gonna do right that's done then you tell the brother after you look up, oh, dog, my bad. I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock, Larry. Don't ever disrespect me like that. Somebody give me a towel. I'm throwing it. That's cold, though. 
Julius Irvin? I was complaining to the refs, and I was complaining to the refs, and the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. The Ooh. 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, to six. including crazy. Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. Right. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. He got a pool hamstring. I so love I'm not it. Playing tonight. I love it. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing, but I, he said, I'm going to tell you what. Since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. Oh. So you just sit back and watch, okay? <laughs> And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. My teammates can to hear you, that. Larry. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. I remember <laughs> How many times he look at you is the real question, Magic. Probably 47 times. Lord. Washington in Washington one night. And Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. Larry came back to the bench and, you know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot and I'm going to kick it in. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot. Oh! <laughs> Boy, this is something else. Incredible. Savage. Bird Larry. The buzzer. That's crazy. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, I thoroughly enjoyed this sports thing. Please let me know in the comments below if there's other sports videos, interviews that y'all want me to get into. I'll do them all. Especially if it's basketball. Oh, you know I'm in. Oh, yeah. Larry was a cold, Larry was a cold brother. Cold, cold brother. Ooh-wee. Cold as ice. The fact that you can tell somebody what, you, what you're getting ready to do and then execute it at a high level. This is the NBA. It's not like a pickup or you playing against third graders. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not playing against kids. You're playing against grown men telling them what you're getting ready to do and then going out there and doing it. That's crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, let me know if y'all want to see some more of this content because I do. For sure. I know I do. I'm locked in. You know who else would be crazy? Michael Jordan's trash talking because I know Michael's talking crazy. You hear me? Crazy. I know he was. But I'm here. Whatever y'all want. Y'all want highlights? I do highlights. You know, y'all ain't got to tell me twice. Sports, I'm in. You ain't got to tell. You ain't got to say too much. Mm -hmm.